up, family? I um, want to just holler at you guys for a minute and talk about, you know, manifesting. You know, how you can manifest what you want just by surrendering. So, first of all, before I get into that, I am uh, in the kitchen cooking, so I just uh, decided to record this instead of going live. <coughs> Excuse me. That way, if something went drastically wrong, I can delete this video. <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding, guys. But listen, I want to talk about, you know, surrendering. You know, a lot of us, uh, we got issues with being able to let go of control because we feel like we have to be in control of everything. We got to be in control of what other people do. We got to be in control of what other people say, you know, and, and even with ourselves, we have to be in control because we fear once we feel like we're out of control or that we don't have control of something, fear steps in. And when fear steps in, it just, it prevents us from moving. Um, when fear steps in, you know, we, we start to hold on tighter because we fear the unknown. We fear what might happen if we let go. But the thing about manifesting is we have to, we really have to be able to let go and allow, you know, invite whatever we want into our life. Because as long as we are holding on, holding on to and trying to control the outcome, we won't manifest. We won't manifest anything. So we have to learn how to let go of control. So here are some five key things that if you, you know, is, is, is five things that, that will actually indicate to you when you need to surrender, okay? We all trying to live our best life. We all trying to manifest our dreams, our desires, you know, manifest that house, that, um, you know, million dollars or whatever the case may be. We are all trying to manifest, you know, our best life. So here are five signs that, give me one second. Had to get a knife. But, um. Here's five signs that that will indicate to you, you know, when it's time for you, when it's time to surrender. And the first one is if you feel like you are frequently tired and stressed out all the time, maybe time to surrender. Especially if you're stressed out and tired of trying to you know, live a more fulfilling life, but it just not seeming to work out. It's not, it's not working out the way you want it to. However, everything works out in its own timing and the way exactly the way it's supposed to. The key is to being able to accept that. All right. Accept what is. Okay. Because it is for you. It's what you're ready to receive. All right. The second key thing is if you don't have enough time to do the things that you want to do. You know, if you feel like that all your time is spent doing things that you feel like you have to do. All right? The third thing is if you feel like you are living paycheck to paycheck, that you're having a difficult time trying to make ends meet. It's time to surrender. Number four is if you wish you, you know, you had more ease and grace in your life. 
you know, wish things would, you know, just go along, the, go along with the plan and flow easily in your life. It's time to surrender. Let go. Whatever's holding you back. The fifth thing is, if you feel limited in your circumstances or your situation, because the truth is, we have unlimited resources, you know, at our, at our, at our beck and call. You know, we don't have to be confined or be limited by our circumstances or our situation. All right, so one of the things that I practice is surrendering. You know, the practice of, you know, surrendering, it can really be a, a benefit to a lot of people, especially if you're feeling stressed out about having a more fulfilling life, a more abundant life. You know, if you're feeling out, feeling like you've reached your, you know, reached your, uh, your, the limit to your own capability. Okay? So if you're feeling like this, it may be time to surrender. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to live a stressed out life. You know? And sometimes I know we get into, you know, this feeling of is this all that's for me is this as good as it gets for me I've had those feelings let me know if you've had that feeling before because at that point in my life I knew there was more I knew that there was possibilities I may not have had the road map to get me there at the time but I felt it deep inside me that there was more possibilities for my life you know for the things that I could achieve the things that I could have. So, you know, when you get to that point, you know, that's a point where you've reached your limit. That's a point where you're seeking some kind of relief, no matter what that looks like. You know, that's a point of, you know, that's where practicing surrender comes in. That's the point where we should be practicing surrender to let go. A lot of people say let go and let God. But that is a point where we it's time for us to, to surrender to our own good so that we can manifest the things that we truly want. The things that you know that we want to have our deepest desires because we can have it all. Guys the the bridge between you know, manifesting and surrendering is basically, it's just in the willingness to let go of that need to have control. You know, and, and letting go of the attachment of the outcome of how it's going to turn out. It doesn't matter. We shouldn't worry about how it's going to turn out. What matters is if we know what we want, we trust and believe that we can have it. We trust and believe that it is ours. That is our birthright. That we deserve it. <laughs> I hope y'all feel what I'm saying here. You know, we've, we've got to know that it will show up in our life regardless. You know, it's not, you know, although that bridge between surrendering and man manifesting and surrendering is not the full act of surrendering, it is a way for you to loosen up and be willing to, you know, let go. All right? So, guys, uh, the basic act of surrendering, the practice, is basically to let go of the need to be in control. Um, trust in an infinite intelligence that you know through through that infinite intelligence that you know 
is going to happen instead of us trying to make things happen we spend too much time trying to make things happen and when we try to make things happen we put up a wall between us and our manifestation so stop trying to make it happen just know it will happen for you you know focus purely on what you want and not what you don't want because so many times we focus on what we don't want and what happens we manifest what we don't want it takes the same amount of energy however we do have to retrain our brain to think about the things that we want and focus on those things because all our life we've been focusing on the things that we don't want it's time to change up you know and to if we want the best that life has to offer it's time to time to switch gears you know it's time to shift our energy into into the things that we want and when we do that we just sit back we 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 we, I'm not going to say sit back because there needs to be some kind of inspired action taken, but we just allow, we open up to, 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 to receive what we're asking for, to receive what we're trying to manifest, okay? Because anytime you toss in some doubt there, you're putting up a wall to your manifestation. So, guys... The benefit of practicing surrender, it is allows you to open up, your, you're basically a vessel, able to open up to more creativity, more peace, more joy, more, more love, more power in your life. Hush up, Grayson. Okay? But you have to trust the process. You got to trust the process of life and know that whatever happens, it happens for a reason. You know, know that whatever results you receive, it is for your own good. It's for your own good and the, and the good of, of all, of all other people. So stop being angry at the result that you get. If you want a different result, then you have to change something. So go back and think about the things that you did or the things that you didn't do change it for a different result because you can't expect a different result with the same actions all right so guys it'll also you know you'll start to feel more abundance in your life you know more abundance of everything more abundance of time more abundance of money um just more abundance of everything in your life and you start to feel more empowered okay this is this is all the benefits of practicing surrendering okay you 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 can feel empowered to share your gifts with the world without feeling pressured without feeling stressed out and so i'm basically going to give you guys a practice that um, it's a spiritual practice that, that I do in order to surrender, you know, to ease and grace. All right, and it's a five-step five step process. So basically, step one is to contemplate and reflect on your life. Where is it in your life that, that you can loosen up and, and start to let go and, of the need of being in control? So reflect on those areas of your life. You know, for me, you know, I had to, I was afraid to let go, I mean, of doing things. I always had to do it. I had to do it because I didn't believe or I feared another person wouldn't do something right, wouldn't do it the way I wanted it done. But that was an area of my life where I had to learn to loosen up and let go let people do them you know let them do it the way that they find is best for them okay so that's number one number two is take time every day to meditate okay i meditate twice a day at least twice a day 
um, before I get out of bed and before I um, lay down and go to sleep. Sometimes it's, uh, I'll do a meditation as I'm going to sleep. But I do meditation twice a day. You don't have to do that. Even if it's just one minute where you just sit and close your eyes and just reflect. That's meditating. People get so caught up in the correct way to meditate. I, I, me personally, I don't get caught up in that. You know, I, if, if during the day I need to take a moment, close my eyes and, and recenter myself, I am. I don't care where I'm at and I don't, I don't worry about the position that I'm in as far as um, if I'm sitting up, laying down, whatever. The whole key is reconnecting yourself to your, to your inner being, to your higher self. So even if it's one minute, and a lot of times I know if you're new with meditating, um, new with clearing your mind, it takes practice. It takes consistency. All right, for you to get that. Um, the third step is think of your life as expansive, you know, and that will include abundance, you know, of time, money, and energy. Think of your life as expansive, that you're expanding, that you're always expanding. And, you know, you, you know, and if it's not like your current reality, that's okay. You know, it's not everybody's current reality. You know, all you just imagine, imagine that what it would, what it would look like, how it would feel if it were so. So take that time and, and think of your life as expansive in all areas, abundance, time, money, energy. All right. Um, the fourth step is speak to yourself, speak to your higher self regularly. Okay. Um, you can say a statement like, I am willing to know and follow a greater possibility for my life. I am willing to know and follow a greater possibility for my life. Because if you want more out of life, you have to speak it into existence. Speak it to the universe. Speak it to your higher self. You know, stop saying the things that you don't want. Speak what you want into existence. All right, I am willing to know and follow a greater possibility for my life all right and number five is really write down your inspirations and your and your and your and your insights as you're doing this exercise or throughout the day if you if you meditate journal it write it down there's power in writing there's power in putting you know putting that pen to paper all right that's you know, I know for some, you know, the I just the idea of letting go, releasing control, it invokes fear in a lot of people. It did in me. It invoked a lot of fear. But there's benefits on the other side of fear. You get what you want on the other side of fear. But if you if you want to manifest your desires, you really have to, you really have to trust. And you have to trust in something that you can't see. You know, you have to have that full faith, faith in, in, in it's, you have to, in, 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 in that something that you can't see or it doesn't exist in your reality right now. That's how you get your manifestation. Allow it to come into your life. Establish that full trust. You know, if you do this, I'm telling you, if you do this, it has no, no choice but to manifest in your life. You focus on that, focus on your desires and what you want in your life. 
Let nothing deter you. Imagine it as if it were yours and just allow it to flow into your life. It has no choice but to manifest. But don't let doubt step in. Don't let fear step in because you release control. We have to surrender in order to receive. So I'm gonna give you a real quick example. You know, you might be, you might be looking at your bank account and thinking, man, I wish I had more in my bank account or whatever. But looking at your bank account is just a mere fragment. <laughs> it's a mere fragment compared to the infinite um, riches that awaits out here in this world. It's just a mere fragment. And it's just waiting for your recognition and your acceptance. That's all it's waiting for. Now, I gave the example of money, but it don't have to always be about money. It can be about your experience anything material or otherwise. But the key is, the key is believe, surrender, allow, and let go. Let go of that notion that you, you're not enough, that you don't deserve it. You know, let all that doubt, let all that fear disappear because you deserve all the riches in this world we all do sometimes we just don't know how to tap into it so I hope that helped you out um, just to recap real quick um, the spiritual practice that I use to surrender with ease and grace is to basically contemplate and reflect you know Reflect in the areas of your life that, that you could, you know, loosen up a little bit and let go. Um, number two is take time out your day and just meditate. All right. Even if it's just a minute. Um, third step is, to, you know, think of your life as expansive. Okay. And which will include, you know, money, your health, your time, um, your energy, whatever it is. Just think of your life as expansive. Number four is speak to your higher self daily. All right, speak to your higher self daily and on a regular basis. Um, I do it daily, um, but practice, practice, practice. On a regular basis, speaking to your higher self. And number five is to write down your insights and your inspirations. So I really hope you uh, guys found value out of this video. I gotta get my dinner started. Um, Maybe I'll show you later, but uh, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. It's our time to be free.